today is really a, a glorious day for us. Uh, we send to the president's desk a monumental bill that will tr will be truly for the people, the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, we, I commend uh, Leader Schumer, did a masterful job in the Senate for his work uh, to send the legislation uh, to the president, to us, then to the president. Sadly, for all the good that it does without one Republican vote. This legislation meant an all major legislation championed by President Biden from the American Rescue Package to infrastructure uh, to uh, the uh, Gun Chips and Science Act is about loosening the stranglehold that special interests have had on the Congress, whether it's the fossil fuel industry, whether it's big pharma, and even just to go to of gun safety uh, with the gun industry, loosening that grip and giving much more leverage to the people rather than to the special interest. Again, the IRA, you have to be, uh, some of the Irish are a little sensitive about <laughs> whatever, but uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, it's a kitchen table issue. If you are sitting at your kitchen table and wonder how you're going to pay the bills, your health care bills, your uh, prescription drug bills, this bill's for you. It finally enables Medicare to, to negotiate for the price of prescription drugs. It prevents uh, excessive price hikes. It caps out-of-pocket prescription drugs to $2,000, extends the Affordable Care Act subsidies for three years to lock in pe lo uh, lower premiums that save 13 million people an average of $800 a year. And then it combats the climate crisis, cuts carbon pollution by 40 percent, creates 9 million good paying jobs, and brings energy costs down from like five to a, 500 to a thousand dollars. We have been trying for decades to prevail, to win legislation that enabled the secretary to negotiate for lower prices. Big Pharma has had a stranglehold on the Congress, so we couldn't get it done until now. This is a, a good first step. We, we always had bigger plans, we always do. But it's interesting that Big Pharma's leader has said the Democrats will pay for this. Really? For lowing costs for America's families for prescription drugs? Okay. And the third, it lowers the deficit and inflation. It takes it, it makes a down payment of $300 billion for deficit reduction to fight inflation, uh, according to, and I have the letter here. You should have this. I don't know if you all do. But this is a letter from 126 leading economists. Seven Nobel Prize winners are included. It will, and this is what it says. It says, I can read it from there. It says, uh, it, the... Um, the these investments would be more than fully paid for. The revenue raised to finance them would come exclusively from wealthy individuals and corporations. Further, the revenue come from, comes from enhancing the law enforcement at the IRS, a tax enforcement, and closing some of the most discretionary, uh, distortionary loopholes in the tax code. It's quite a remarkable letter, and it's a short letter. But it has pages and pages of economists, including seven Nobel laureates. And it is, um, again, it makes a difference at the kitchen table. And at the boardroom table, corporations will now have to, and the wealthy will now have to pay their fair share. No new taxes on families, families making more than, uh, excuse me, no new taxes on families making less than $400,000 or under, and no new taxes on small business. Not one middle class personal filing, uh, filling out their taxes will pay higher taxes. Now, the other, um, again, we can talk about it if you wish. We can talk about the, um, the IRS and what we just talked about there, about how the rich will finally pay their fair share. This bill honors the Democrats' promise to American families. After we pass it and the president signs it into law, we will continue to fight for more of the family features of the bill that are not, decide, uh, are not included in this legislation. This legislation is historic, it's, trans it's transformative, and it is 
really a cause for celebration. We'll always put the people over politics in stark contrast to the uh, position of uh, of the Republicans, with their extreme MAGA Republicans, criminalizing women's health care, planning to end Social Security and Medicare, don't take it from me, look at their own statements on this, and attacking democracy. Uh, So with that, um, that is the week that is, and a little bit it will be the week that was. Uh, When we pass this legislation, it will be ready in a matter of minutes for me to enroll it, and I'll go directly to the president for signature.